What is going on guys? Grave here today. We'll have a quick tips video. The first thing that I'm going to say is one that I've said many times before and that is do not move while shooting. There is a bonus in this game for standing still while firing and there is a penalty in this game for moving and shooting. Now I'm saying, I'm not saying don't ever strafe. Some situations you just absolutely have to. But if you're in a habit from other games, other shooters of strafing while firing, I know it is really, really good in a lot of other shooters, but Battlefield it is not. It is something that will punish you. So make sure you stop, pop, and then move. It is the best way to handle gunfights in Battlefield 1. Um, watch the corners, guys. Uh, not your corners particularly, but the corner when you die. Watch down on the left. It will show if there's any medics nearby. And I know there's a lot of medics in this game that are absolutely awful that will not revive you. And I know that's a reason why a lot of people just go ahead and hit the X and respawn as quickly as possible. It drives me nuts when I'm a medic because I'm going to them and they're all respawning. But, of course, that is to do with a lot of people not playing the medic role properly. If you are playing medic, play it properly. Don't Rambo revive. But if you are the person that is dead, if you have a decent medic on your team, give him a chance to get to you. And like I said, guys, in case you do not know, you can see it in the left-hand corner. If there are so many feet from you, you're able to see uh, how close they are and if they're coming towards you. Also, guys, uh, go back and cap your home flags. I see a lot of people doing this. And, of course, I know there's a lot of new players out there that may have never played Battlefield before. And there's a lot of new players since the holidays have picked up the game. But the two flags that are closest to your home spawn, where you spawn in the game to begin with, you always want those two flags that are closest to it. Because once an enemy captures those, they're pretty much going to be able to overtake you. And they're always going to be able to flank you. So if it's just you and your squad and you have to consistently fight at your home flag, make sure you go back and get those two that are the closest. A lot of people get complacent while fighting around the two mid flags in the map or trying to go flank and get the enemy's flag if their home flags are captured themselves. So they'll go to the enemy's home flag, which is okay if your team is doing really poorly. But if it's a, a, a close game and it's, it's kind of back and forth, the teams are pretty easily, evenly matched, there's no need in going to capture their flag. Make sure you always have your own home flags captured. Um, it's best to stay to the edges of the cap radius. If you're capturing a flag, you can see that little white square where the flag is and kind of the radius that you can cap it from. It's best to stay around the edges. I get in a bad habit, and a lot of people are in the bad habit of going right to where the flag is actually on the cap point and kind of sitting or laying around there. The bad thing about that is is people are usually going to throw grenades. That's the first place I throw grenades is right towards the middle, right towards where the flag is, and you can clear a lot of people off that way. If you stay towards the edges, it will help uh, in capturing those flags. It will also help in being able to pick what gunfights that you are uh, wanting to engage smart. You can pick those very intelligent, intelligently. Uh, you can be very smart about your gunfights by hanging around those edges. You don't have to worry about being flanked from behind. You can kind of have everything play out in front of you. And guys, do not run into gunfights. I see so many people trying to play a run and gun style. They're all the time sprinting, never aiming down sights. This game is a slow aim down sight. You have a slower animation time. It's not like some other shooters that you may have played before. Uh, also, you can run and gun in this game. If you're playing on a larger map, make sure you're cover to cover. The best run and gun on, of course, is the maps with a lot of buildings and things. And you can even do it on some maps that are larger. You may just have to hang around certain areas, certain flags, kind of find out where the action is and just hang around those areas. But be smart. Move cover to cover, building to building. You can run and gun. Just like I said, don't run just aimlessly in a gunfight over and over and keep getting picked off. Anyway, guys, I hope these things help you guys out. If you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.